good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna Noemi Lehmann, and I'm a gastroenterology resident at the Division of Hippocratic Disorders at Samuel Weiss University. My, pro my PhD project is to investigate the impact of timely diagnosis and management in pancreatic cancer. My mission, my vision, is to improve the management of pancreatic cancer by developing the best diagnostic pathway for pancreatic cancer patients and to ensure the longest survival and the best quality of life for them. My main goal is to understand the effect of lifetime the prognosis of pancreatic cancer and I would like to achieve this goal by using two methods. First, I analyze the already existing data and do a systematic review and meta-analysis and after uh, we establish a prospective solid tumor registry to collect more specific data and do an even more detailed analysis. My first project is the effect investigation of that time between the start of diagnostic procedure and the treatment of pancreatic cancer patients. Pancreatic cancer is the seventh leading cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide, with a significantly increasing incidence and an extremely low five-year survival rate, five to ten percent on average. However, if the lesion is detected in time and the tumor is resectable, this number can reach up to 30 percent. As of today, the only curative treatment of pancreatic cancer is the surgical way. In current practice, the general lifetime can take up to 50 days, sometimes even more. As pancreatic cancer is a rapidly progressing disease, this diagnostical delay might strongly affect the survival rate. Our aim is to investigate the time period from the start of diagnostic procedure to drug initiation influences the long-term outcomes of pancreatic cancer patients. We use the general PICO framework where the investigating population is pancreatic cancer patients. We would like to compare different time periods from the, part, from the start of diagnostic procedure to the therapy initiation and the outcomes are resectability and overall survival. If we find the right time period and make a recommendation, this publication can be a guide for future diagnostic protocols and can result in increased survival of the patient. Our hypothesis is that by decreasing the time of diagnostic management, we can prolong the patient's life. A systematic search was conducted on PubMed, Embase and Central Libraries in the middle of October, you can see my search above. After duplication removal, I got almost 17,000 hits, um, and we found 79 eligible articles after uh, title and abstract selection. Right now, we are working on the full text selection. My second project is the establishment of a prospective pancreas solid tumor registry. By collecting data, by analyzing data in a structured prospective registry could give us more insight about the possibilities of early diagnosis and even screening, which in case of pancreatic cancer is crucial to improve diagnosis. We could learn more also about the multidisciplinary approach of the disease and we could evaluate the new 7-4-7 strategy what we proposed for patients with pancreatic, pancreatic solid lesions in our work and what we believe that could result in longer survival, better quality of life and also lower healthcare costs. But let me introduce you shortly this 4 per 7 strategy. 4 per 7 means that 4 days after the first detection of the patient, we have a proper histologically confirmed diagnosis by conducting all the needed laboratory imaging and biotic procedures on the Twice a week we hold a council, this is the so-called MDT or multidisciplinary team meeting where 
uh, specialists from different fields are invited, such as surgeons, oncologists, pathologists, gastroenterologists, of course, but not only from the medical field. We have team members from the field of uh, psychology and dietitians and physiotherapists as well. On the first MDT, we review the CT images and make a decision about further diagnostic procedures if needed. On the second MDT, we review the histological findings and we can make decisions about the therapy what the patient needs. So, seven days after the first detection, the patient can start the required therapy. In the pancreatic solid tumor registry, we register patients from the detection until the second MDT meeting in the O form. If the lesion is confirmed to be a pancreatic cancer, we continue the data registration in the A form, which is an advanced version of the O form. This A form has many additional data sheets, what can be filled as many times as the patient uh, needs the therapeutic or um, diagnostic uh, intervention listed. As I emphasized many times before, multidisciplinary approach is very important for us. So we collect not only medical data, but also psychology and nutrition data sheets are part of the registry as well. The patients come back for follow-up um, visits we register the follow-up data in the B form. The registry establishment is ready for patients' enrollment. Uh, we have the questionnaires both in Hungarian and English. Um, as I mentioned before, the patient's enrollment can start in a few days and we are also working on the IT development of the surfaces. So, my goal is to conduct my uh, meta analysis before 2020 May, and the patient enrollment in the registry can start in the upcoming days. Let me close my presentation with the words of Pope John Paul II. Let us remember the past with gratitude, live the present with enthusiasm, and look forward to the future with confidence. Thank you for your attention and I'm more than happy to answer your questions. You, you mentioned you mentioned that theoretically or optimally uh, seven days or no more than seven days uh, and uh, the therapy should be started. What is the reality? What is the reality in the western part of the world? What is the reality in, in Hungary just now? But what, what is your impression? What start uh, in, in the literature? Thank you for the question. Um, in my presentation, I think I mentioned that in Hungary today the reality can take up to two months, so from 20 to 60 days. Uh, yeah, what is the period? Um, even in the Western world, it can take about somewhere, some countries, it can take like two weeks. That is the shortest, what I have read about. Um, but it's important to mention that, that the data I analyzed, um, it was not prospective, it was retrospective, um, cohort analysis. And um, in our practice, we started this strategy in October. Uh, our goal is the seven day, what was achieved in some cases of patients, okay, yes. The seven days will be worse. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, so we, we managed to achieve it in some cases, um, but we are still working on the strategy, we are trying to improve it. So we will achieve this seven days in every case. Hopefully, we are looking at the slide plan because uh, if you start treating treatment later, then the disease itself has long time, longer time to develop, right? 
Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you said that you are looking at overall survival. Yes, that's right. Uh, are you looking at the causes of that? Um, that's a great question. Um, we will, I will consider to look at it here. Yeah. But in pancreatic cancer, um, the survival rates, right now, the five year survival rates are very low, five to ten percentage. Um, and in most cases, because of the death, it's the pancreatic cancer. But uh, thank you for the suggestion. I will consider to do so different because of this. I'm asking that because we have a lot of cases, especially in these kind of cancers, which are quite little, that people commit suicide because of that. Mm -hmm. And if the blood time is bigger, then in cases of uh, suicide, it wouldn't really affect them. I mean, it doesn't matter if I know that I have pancreatic cancer after two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, rather than uh, as the disease develops. If the disease is the uh, Literally, if that it matters, then mm -hmm. it's not, then it's not. So, uh, if there are patients, and we know that there are, if it's a significant number, it might affect uh, the uh, outcomes. Okay, that's, that's a very good suggestion. And uh, we are working together with psychologists, colleagues, and I think it's a, it's a great point of view for both of our topics, and I will consider your suggestions. My question is kind of connected to the previous one question. So I was wondering to ask you, might know how the patient feel about this four four per, per seven uh, strategy? It's not it's not the general um, let's say attitude. They usually have to wait, as you said, month for for, for even a, a, an ECG, for instance. So, so how do they feel about this four, four per seven? Is it uh, is it worrisome for them? Like, is it something really bad? Maybe like in, in seven weeks, it's, it's so rough. It's, it's it's huge rush. How do they feel? Um, from my personal experience, I can say that um, patients I've met, they they want a diagnosis as soon as they can. So they don't like. Obviously, they don't like um, the instability. Like, they don't they don't want to wait when they have the suspicion of cancer already. Um, so, even when we manage to achieve these seven days, some patient asked me if we can start the therapy sooner than in one week. So, if we can start the therapy in three weeks or I mean three days or or four days because even the one week seemed long for them. So I think for patients, it's better to get the diagnosis sooner. Thank you.